Hello, everybody. The other day I was watching a lecture on YouTube entitled The Surprising Science of Happiness, and it was really, really interesting, and I'll tell you why. The presenter in this lecture was explaining in great detail how we all scientifically achieve states of happiness or contentment. And according to the latest research, we all do this in two basic ways. Number one is termed natural happiness, and that's the state of joy that we all experience when we actually get what we want. Pretty straightforward. Number two is a bit more interesting, and it's termed synthetic happiness. And it's not based on getting what we want. In fact, it actually kicks into gear when we do not get what we want. Because when that happens, our minds are literally forced to produce, for lack of a better term, a synthetic form of contentment. And get this, the brain cannot tell the difference between the two, between natural and synthetic happiness. So we all apparently have within us this genetically coded ability to manufacture our own contentment, even when the chips are down. Uh, apparently, it's our own way of protecting our psychological immune system. It's a self-defense mechanism, a survival trait. Now, what's even more mind-boggling is that, according to this research, the more freedom we possess to escape a difficult situation or to alter it, the less, and I say again, the less our capacity to manufacture synthetic happiness. So, bottom line, synthetic happiness works better best when we're stuck and it's produced in even greater quantities when we are totally and completely trapped according to Dan Gilbert. Folks, these findings are truly amazing. The ability to find our functional center, our ability to go the distance and say, yeah, I could do this. That ability is hardwired into our very DNA. It's just that most of us don't know it. But with all that said, listen, I'll be the first to admit here that I don't particularly go looking for adversity. But over over the years, I've still come to recognize and appreciate its hidden lessons. And as a prepper, I would highly advise, if you haven't already done so, that you do the same. Learn to find adversity's hidden lessons, and they'll be slightly different for everyone. Now, I said those lessons are hidden because there is a methodology for uncovering them. And so here are some helpful suggestions that I myself have learned through years and years of hard knocks. Okay, number one, accept your situation. If you've no other choice and all efforts to modify your situation have failed, then you're going to have to ride it out, my friend. Accept it. Move on. No use complaining. Number two, actively embrace your situation. That's right. It's your situation and no one else's. So you might as well assume full ownership of it. In other words, embrace the fact that it really, really sucks. Now, I didn't say that you have to like your situation, but you do have to actively lean into it. Number three, innovatively adapt. That is, always, always work with your situation and not against it. Or to put it another way, use the situation and don't let it use you. Start by restructuring the very way you look at problems. So instead of whining, get creative and get proactive. Become determined to synthetically create your own functional contentment, your own functional center from within the storm. But like any other muscle, you have to exercise that ability. If not, it lies dormant and unused as it does for a lot of people today. Listen, bottom line, survival is almost entirely, almost entirely a mindset. And that's partly because we already possess this amazing ability to synthetically produce a functional center from within the midst of our battles. Remember that. And this ability cannot be purchased from an online catalog because you already own it. You already are, in so many words, a genetically coded survivor. Perhaps this is why U.S. Marine Corps legend Chesty Puller, when he was asked to update his situation during the heat of battle, he calmly replied, well, we're surrounded, and that simplifies our problem. Okay, this is Analytical Survival Saints. Stay safe and resilient, my brothers and sisters.